guys, welcome to my channel. So first what we're starting with is brushing her brows into place and then going in with our NK pencil from the beauty supply to fill them in. Next, I'm using LA Girls Pro Concealer in the shade Medium Beige to carve out underneath her brows. And you want to make sure you use a fluffy brush to really blend that concealer onto the lid. To do the top, I'm using L'Oreal's Infallible Total Coverage Foundation in the shade Classic Tan. Now, foundation is better to use on top, but sometimes I do use concealer as well. I'm taking that same shade in LA Girl Pro Conceal to prime her lids and blending it with my concealer brush from Ellen Tracy. To set that, I use Absolute New York's HD Flawless Setting Powder, and I feel like everybody should do this step simply because it helps your eyeshadow stay in place. After that, I'm just brushing all excess powder away, and then I'm bringing out my Carly by Bell palette by BH Cosmetics using a subtle brown close to her skin color. But this modern renaissance palette is life. I mix the shades Red Ochre and Cypress Umber, sweeping that back and forth almost like a windshield wiper. And I love Tarte products because they smell so good. This is the In Bloom palette and I use the shade Leader to deepen that crease some more. Now I'm just going back into my palettes from earlier to make sure all these colors blend really good together. Next, I'm still using Medium Beige and LA Girls Pro Conceal to carve out her cut crease. A neutral color on her lid is best with this look, so I'm going with Morphe's 350 Matte Palette using this Pretty Nude, packing it onto her lid real good. Going back in with Leader from my Tarte Palette, I'm redefining that crease using a regular angled brush. Then I'm taking NYX's matte eyeliner and giving her a neat, not too dramatic wing. We primed and moisturized her face with Clinique Super Primer, which is super great for oily skin by the way. To get rid of dark places, we used this contour wheel from Beauty Treats, which you can tell I love so much because I'm scraping out the pot, literally. And we're just blending that out with the Beauty Blender as best as we can. Now using that same foundation from earlier for the top of her brows, we're just applying that to her face all over and blending in. I do use setting spray in between steps just because it's a bit easier to blend that way. I'm using a brush. You can use a Beauty Blender, silicone sponge, whatever you please. Same concealer and we're just highlighting under those eyes, the nose, and under the nose. My phone died in the midst of the baking process, but I use Airspun Total Coverage Baking Powder to set this in. To contour, I use Ellen Tracy's Contour Palette. in these two shades of brown. And what we're doing is we're just adding some color back into her face. You always wanna make sure everything is blended out with no harsh lines whatsoever.
and now we're just cutting her contour with her same foundation color and usually I'd use powder but when I want a sharper contour I'll use foundation and you just blend 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 taking max blush in the shade mocha and once again we're blending everything together bottom eyeliner is literally my favorite it makes it look so much more sharper then I'm just smudging that out with a fluffy brush from Eco Tools and going back in with Leader for my Tarte palette. I usually add lashes right after the eye look, but I forgot. And there's no rules to makeup, so hey. I'm using Vegas Nays Lashes for this look, and I'm just adding some mascara to her bottom lashes as well. My favorite part, that glow. Max Gold Deposit will always be a classic. And then I'm just going to apply this on her nose and her cheekbones. As well as her cupid's bow. And then I'm setting her face and repeating this so that glow can really pop. Yes, honey. I'm using Carly Bybell's highlighters under her brow and her tear duct, and then I'm setting her face for the last time. For her lips, I'm lining them with this deep purple pencil from NK. Then going over that with Max Ruby Woo in Liquid and Matte. Lastly, I'm just cleaning up around her lips with her foundation color and setting them. There you have it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.